Hey there everybody, welcome back into the kitchen. It has been suggested and or requested that I show you all what I'm doing with some of these things that I'm harvesting from my garden this year. Today, it's spaghetti squash. If you've never tried a spaghetti squash, relax. These are incredibly delicious and really, really easy to make. I mean, like, so easy to make, even I'm not going to screw this up. So, you know, with that in mind, let's get started. I like to start with the sauce because I like to let it simmer for a good long time. Since my canning hasn't advanced to a point of making my own sauce yet, I'm just starting with whatever was on sale. So to start our improvements for this on sale sauce, we'll just dump in some large chunked onions. I prefer to do my veggies cut pretty big when I'm making sauces. Next we've got six cloves of garlic, tipped, crushed, and haphazardly diced. So I think for some color we'll add this banana pepper and these two jalapenos still kicking around from that uh, kind gift. There we go, nice little bit of color in that. Looking better by the moment. Then I'm going to let this sit and cook for a ridiculously long time before I even get started with the spaghetti squash itself because that's just so easy. Alright. And lastly before I walk away is a healthy dose of fried ground beef. Alright, that sauce has been simmering for about an hour. The house smells delightful. Still not quite ready to throw in the uh, spaghetti squash yet. But I figured I would add a nice baby carrot from the garden to add a little more sweetness. Alright, now I've actually turned the heat off underneath this because I find the best way to get the flavor into tomato sauces, in my personal opinion, is to cook them twice. So, this is going to cool off while we get started with the spaghetti squash itself. Isn't that a beautiful example of a spaghetti squash? Okay, now preparing these is really simple. It's going to come whole with uh, the stem attached. I just chop the stem off, plop it up on its end, and then knife right through it. You're good to go. Now, I do recommend saving the seeds from this because it's easy to grow and uh, quite tasty. So save yourself some money by saving some seeds. I find that just by taking a spoon around the inside, I can usually scrape this cavity clean with uh, very little effort. So I'm just going to finish that off and we'll continue. So even raw, you can see the uh, somewhat string-like texture of our spaghetti squash here. And that is exactly why it is a spaghetti squash. We're going to rip through that and turn it into our pasta. But we need to cook it first. There are basically two ways to go about this. Some people will like to cook it face down. Some cook it face up. Tonight we're going to be cooking it face up. As you can see, I've jabbed a fork into it in a few different places. And I've jabbed a fork through the rind because I want a lot of these juices to just kind of flow out. I don't need uh, a soup here. I'm just looking for a fake pasta. Now I'm doing this with my left hand, so who knows how this is going to turn out. But the goal is to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on there. That's way more than I wanted. I'll use a spoon to spread that around. Now with my oil spread a little more evenly, I'm just going to sprinkle some lemon pepper on here. Not that it needs it. I just like it. Remember, this is a uh, entertainment show. If you learn something, I'm as surprised as you are. Okay, so that is basically ready to go. As with so many things on YouTube, you'll find opinions differ here as well. I like to throw mine in there for about 45 minutes on 350 to do its initial cook and then I'm going to let it caramelize at about 150 for another couple hours after that until I just can't take it anymore and it's dinner time. Now aside from the preparation and serving that's pretty much all there is to this. We'll check back on the spaghetti squash in about 45 minutes after it's done at 350 and then we'll check back on it just before I'm shredding it to put it on the plate. Alright stick around. Alright so 45 minutes at 350 later I'm going to flip this over let it steam for a good long time, but at a nice low 150 or so until it's time to eat. All right, so drop the temperature, back in that goes. And I've turned the sauce back on, so it'll be ready in a couple hours too. All right, my sauce is all nicely reheated again. That spaghetti squash looks about ready to come out. It's been smelling pretty good. Time to flip it and strip it. All right, so this is really easy to deal with. Still got our lemon pepper nicely on there. You just take your fork and kind of shred it all up. A lot of people, video bombing dog. A lot of people will let it cool down a little bit first. I don't have that kind of patience. 
smelling this cooking all day. So, I will finish that up and show you what it looks like on the plate. So from half a spaghetti squash we got a very full bowl of, we'll call it pasta replacement. It does kind of sort of resemble a noodle like a spaghetti noodle though. Hence, spaghetti squash. Now it's time to add the last couple of things to our sauce and it's dinner time. So now that we're almost done with the sauce, we're going to add in some mushrooms and our fresh tomatoes. And then we're going to add these quite poorly chopped yellow tomatoes. I'm sure there's a trick to, to uh, chopping tomatoes neatly. I clearly don't know it. And then you basically just serve it up like you would any spaghetti. Good to go here. Got our sauce. All right. Get a nice heaping scoop of this here. Plunk that on top. That is going to be delicious. Let that melt all my cheese. Gotta have the cheese. And that's good to go. It's kitchen video though, so it kind of requires a tasting. How does spaghetti squash itself taste? Tastes delicious. It's sweet. It's stringy. It's definitely the illusion of spaghetti. If you're looking for a, uh, a wheat-free spaghetti alternative, get yourself a spaghetti squash. There's lots of reasons to try it. Go get a spaghetti squash either way. But anyway, you know what? I got a mouthful of food, and it's dinner time. See y'all.